Hello everyone and welcome to this tech -It session, Hit Refresh and Elevate Your Integrations. My name is Udo Palzer and I'm from the product management team for SAP Integration Suite. Thank you very much for joining the session. We have a full agenda prepared for you. So we will focus on how you can future-proof your integrations today with SAP Integration Suite. And then we basically cover two migration and elevation uh, programs, namely one focusing on SAP process orchestration, how you can elevate from SAP process orchestration to SAP integration suite, including automation of your integration regression testing, recent innovations and roadmap. And second topic of migration would be then migration from the NEO environment, the single services like API management and cloud integration to SAP integration suite. And at the end, of course, we will have a summary and then of course, you have questions. So let's start with how you can future-proof your integrations today. And the key response from SAP, from SAP is SAP Integration Suite. So SAP Integration Suite is our strategic integration platform as a service for the integration of APIs, events, and business processes coming from whatever environment you are, be it a legacy SAP integration platform like SAP Process Orchestration, SAP Integration, uh, Neo-based integration service like API management or cloud integration, or coming from a third-party integration platform. So kindly use the chance and refresh and elevate your older existing integration platforms to SAP Integration Suite. There are multiple benefits with SAP Integration Suite, which you can see on the right-hand side of the slide. So we support any kind of integration scenarios and patterns, API-based integrations, event-driven integrations, classical process orchestration scenarios covering application to application integration, business integration of business partners, integration of government agencies. So any kind of integration scenarios we support with SAP Integration Suite. You are faster using SAP Integration Suite. We have more than 3,400 prepackaged integration scenarios, integration flows, mappings for SAP Integration Suite covering integration with SAP and non-SAP applications. We support or we leverage artificial intelligence, machine learning capabilities, like with proposal services for next iFlow steps for the generation of message implementation guidelines and mapping guidelines. It's a fully managed integration platform as a service. So SAP provides all the upgrades and updates on the monthly basis. So we run and operate SAP Integration Suite on multiple hyperscale environments, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Alibaba Cloud, Google Cloud Platform, Platform. And you might have heard it also in the keynote already, SAP Integration Suite is also now available with Edge Integration Cells, so also a multi-cloud deployment option running in your private landscapes is also uh, supported now with SAP Integration Suite. It's an open platform. You can integrate any scenarios, any applications, SAP and non-SAP applications. You have a lot of flexibility with SAP Integration Suite, flexible commercial offerings, consumer -based, uh, consumption based uh, pricing model, as well as a subscription based license model, versatile integration platform, API led integrations, uh, event driven integrations, as well as classical process integration scenarios we support, multi-cloud deployment options. And I um, mentioned already you know, with the Edge integration cell as newest kit on the block, which also allows you to run integration scenarios completely on-premise, integrate two on-premise applications with each other completely on-premise using SAP Edge integration, uh, using the Edge integration cell of SAP Integration Suite. And of course, we safeguard all your invests, what you have done already in previous integration platforms. We have a migration tool. Uh, we provide migration tools you know, for the migration from process orchestration or from the NEO-based environments to SAP Integration Suite. You can reuse the skill set, you know, PO uh, integration developer, easily in a few hours, couple of days, and you know, can easily get familiar with SAP Integration Suite and yeah, run integrations, develop, deploy, and run integration scenarios with SAP Integration Suite. And lifecycle management is also supported with SAP Integration Suite. So you have, so we from SAP make sure 
that we upgrade on a monthly basis SAP integration suite, fully compatible without regressions. And of course, not only the life cycle of SAP integration suite of the platform as such, but also the content life cycle we support. So we also upgrade uh, the prepackaged integration content that is also available with SAP Integration Suite. And you can run enterprise automation scenarios for, with SAP Integration Suite, SAP Process, Build Process Automation, SAP Signal View, so also end-to-end -end scenarios covering enterprise automation scenarios are also covered with SAP Integration Suite. So kindly take the chance and leverage SAP Integration Suite, elevate from your existing integration platforms and consolidate your existing platforms to SAP Integration Suite. So here again, you see an overview of SAP Integration Suite with the core capability or with the capabilities of SAP Integration Suite, like cloud integration for process integration scenarios, API management and graph, API-led integrations with graph uh, as a unified, harmonized API to access, yeah, uh, APIs independent of the implementation within SAP backends like S4HANA or SAP success factors the event mesh, advanced event mesh for event-driven integrations, open connectors with many, many adapters for non-SAP connectivity, integration advisor together with trading partner management for your B2B scenarios, and almost last but not least, the migration assessment capability, which helps you to assess and migrate process orchestration scenarios to SAP Integration Suite. And newest kit on the block is Edge Integration Cell covering on-premise to on-premise integration scenarios completely in your own private customer landscape. And here you see some of the key advantages that we bring besides all the capabilities that we address. So SAP Integration Suite is not only a technical uh, platform, but also provides prepackaged integration content, such as more than 3,400 pre-built integration scenarios, 250 adapters for SAP and non-SAP connectivity, 3,800 APIs published on the, SAP, uh, on the SAP Business Accelerator Hub, where you can also find the prepackaged content, the adapters for SAP uh, Integration Suite, the events are published on the SAP Business Accelerator Hub, and Integration Suite also supports 20 plus B2B libraries like ADFACT, ANSIX12, CXML, also SAP libraries you know, like IDOC and web service interfaces, for example, all provided out of the box with SAP Integration Suite, covering yeah, the core integration capabilities, monitoring and operations, of course, are covered by SAP Integration Suite, as well as multiple security standards you know, for message and transport level security, um, yeah, uh, encryption and decryption, for example, via multiple standards like PGP and web service security. But now coming to the migration aspect, you know, so we provide migration support, migrating from SAP Process Organization to SAP Integration Suite. So this migration tool or the offering consists of multiple uh, uh, documents, for example, and tool support, guides and best practices, which help you to guide how to transform and elevate from SAP Process Organization to SAP Integration Suite in a assessment capability, which helps you to assess your process orchestration scenarios and guide you how many of your scenarios can be migrated easily, how many need to be adapted, and for how many scenarios we might have to wait until a certain feature is available on SAP Integration Suite. Then the migration capability, we say semi-automatic because you might have to adjust your scenarios and yeah, do the final configuration of the endpoints on SAP Integration Suite, Edge Integration Cell covering the on-premise integration scenarios, and we work closely together with partners who help you with the end-to-end -end regression test. The end-to-end -end regression test is an important aspect of a migration to also make sure that your scenarios work as before without any, uh, without any uh, regressions. As mentioned, part of the migration offering consists also of documentation. So we have here uh, migration guidelines, design guidelines, who help you to also design enterprise-grade integration scenarios covering all use cases. Um, 
of process orchestration, uh, like scatter gather patterns, for example. The migration assessment allows you to connect to one or multiple SAP process orchestration system. This is also one of the key benefits. Now, via an API, we can connect to one or multiple process orchestration systems. We uh, check the system configuration. Uh, we, we, or we can uh, uh, design your system configuration to connect to one or multiple SAP process orchestration systems. You extract the data from your integration configuration objects, evaluate it, and then provide you with the report covering or uh, providing you an overview of your scenarios which can easily be migrated. The green scenarios which you can see here, yellows you might have to adjust and red means you know, certain features are not yet available and would mean a larger or a higher effort in the migration. As mentioned, not to neglect in the migration scenarios is also the, is also the regression testing to make sure your scenarios from process orchestration, for example, work as before once you have migrated them to SAP Integration Suite. So here we work closely together with two partners, INT4 and FIGAF, which have also pro which provide their regression test tooling for free for SAP process orchestration customers for up to one year. You can find further information on this regression test tool on SAP Substore. They can connect, contact ne, FIGAF or INT4, and they provide you tools and a framework how you can test your scenarios. Uh, after the migration from SAP Process Orchestration to SAP Integration Suite. Recent innovations of our uh, migration tool consist here, so we uh, have uh, capabilities provided uh, for you in the migration assessment, which is one aspect of the migration offering as such, and the migration tool as such. In the migration assessment, new rules we provide, for example, content-based routing is supported now via this uh, in the migration assessment tool, improved system settings, meaning you can connect directly from the migration assessment or from SAP integration suite to one or multiple PO systems systems. So you can also configure here multiple PO systems directly in SAP Integration Suite. And we also support older PO releases 731 and 740, although we don't officially support these releases anymore, but we know that customers are still on these older releases and to avoid that these customers have to first upgrade to 7.5 and only then can use the migration tool to migrate from SAP Process Organization to SAP Integration Suite. We also support now older releases 731 and 740 in the migration assessment. In the migration tool as such, we have a summary page which is already provided already for some quite some time but we have improved the output that you can see here on this uh, on the um, summary page for example you can see how we migrated a scenario for example since we don't have rest adapter on sap integration suite no, but on po you can see now so this in this scenario the rest adapter has been migrated on sap integration suite to the http adapter so this kind of information and further details you can see in the summary page xi adapter jdbc adapter rfc mail adapter are supported in the migration tool and as default whenever an externalized parameter is available in the configuration on sap integration suite in the iFlow, the these externalized parameters are being used so that you can have the maximum uh, yeah, possibilities to only configure your integration scenarios and avoiding to edit integration scenarios and just do configuration settings né, via these externalized parameters without the need to edit an integration flow. And also the migration tool supports older releases né, like 731 and 7. 40. Other recent innovations also cover the support of user-defined functions, for example, also supported in the migration to with the function libraries. Outlook is you know, that we will provide also mass migration of integration uh, configuration objects. Currently, it's a single migration of single uh, ICOs one by one. So we, uh, as part of the roadmap, we also plan to support mass migration of ICOs to SAP Integration Suite. We also plan to support user-defined functions with imported archives. This is planned and also the creation of reusable artifacts like reusable mappings, for example, and Groovy scripts 
on SAP integration suite and multiple other, uh, and of course, further templates and further scenarios beyond, for example, content-based routing are also planned in the future to cover more and more ICO scenarios in SAP with the migration tool. So kindly use the chance to use the migration tool to elevate from SAP process orchestration to SAP integration suite and not only do a one-to-one -one migration, but also leverage new services on SAP integration suite like API management, integration advisor, for your B2B scenarios, event-driven integrations, so the multitude of on SAP integration suite is is way larger than we had on SAP process orchestration. And the same holds true also for the migration from Neo to Cloud Foundry, Cloud Foundry meaning SAP integration suite on Cloud Foundry. So here we also support yeah, all the components and the capabilities that you saw earlier on the previous slide. So we have API led integrations, B2B with integration advisor, trading partner management, event driven integrations on SAP integration suite. The migration tool is great like migrating from SAP process orchestration to SAP integration suite. Also, the migration tool helps you to migrate your single API scenarios to SAP integration suite or your single cloud integration scenarios from SAP cloud integration to SAP integration suite, which is good for a one-to-one -one migration, but kindly also look left and right on SAP integration suite. Can you also use an event-driven integration pattern, for example, or use the B2B uh, uh, capabilities with integration advice and trading partner management to really elevate and consolidate your previous integration scenarios to the full plethora of SAP integration suite capabilities. The migration tool, similarly with SAP process orchestration, the migration tool can cover certain aspects in the migration, so it leverages an OData API, for example, for the cloud integration capability, so which can easily read all your custom iFlows, your custom integration packages, pre-built integration scenarios, and migrate those from SAP cloud integration to SAP integration suite. Also public certificates, number range objects, lo local and global var variables can be migrated from SAP cloud integration to SAP integration suite. However, there also certain objects which are not migratable for security reasons. So credentials, for example, user credentials, username and password, for example, monitoring data, JMSQ data, tenant configuration data, these cannot be migrated and have to be set up again newly on your SAP integration suite tenant. And similarly, also for uh, API management, certain API artifacts like API proxies, API providers can be migrated and again also security material would have to be created newly on your SAP integration suite tenant. Yeah, I hope this session was helpful to you. I'm coming to the end now to a summary. So please kindly think strategically, consider SAP integration suite as your future-proof integration platform. Do either uh, leverage our migration tools, which help you to migrate from SAP process orchestration or from SAP cloud integration or API management or Neo to SAP integration suite either elevate one-to-one -one from the older integration platforms to SAP integration suite, or also look left and right, use maybe an API scenario or event-driven integration pattern, and leverage also the other capabilities that are offered by SAP integration suite. Start all your new scenarios with SAP integration suite, then start with your simple integration scenarios, for example, to get more acquainted with SAP integration suite, and then at the end, of course, use all your uh, more complex integration scenarios and bring them to SAP integration suite. So Thank you for listening. So let's take a look now at the Q&A session. So, um, um, so I would like to take a couple of questions as long as we have time here. So one question is here from Titesh. I see how to request the migration assessment. The migration assessment is part of SAP integration suite. So there's no extra license covered. As soon as you have an SAP integration suite license, the migration tool for 
migrating from Neo environment to SAP Integration Suite, as well as the migration tool migrating from SAP Process Orchestration to SAP Integration Suite is covered out of the box with your Integration Suite license. So you can, um, um, so once you have the SAP Integration Suite license, now you can um, use the migration assessment for free. And yeah, let me take a look at some of the other uh, questions that um, I can easily answer here. Um, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, you know, here a question from Christian Noack, for example, how can I create automated tests for my integration flows? Can requests to external systems be replaced with mock answers to, for the duration of the test? This is a very good question, right? And previously, as with SAP process orchestration, we also worked together with partners also here, same context. So here in SAP integration suite, we work closely together with partners who record your integration scenarios on SAP Process Orchestration, for example, or in your Neo environment. They record these scenarios with the input message in the expected output message. And similarly, once you have migrated these scenarios to SAP Integration Suite, this regression test tool will then send the same input message that you sent to SAP Process Orchestration now to SAP Integration Suite, compare the output message with the expected output message on SAP Process Orchestration, for example. You can define a test suite, ne, test here multiple of your test um, scenarios, feed them with your test data, for example, and always compare the output messages generated after the migration, compare it with the output messages that you had received on SAP process orchestration. For the details, you can discuss them together with these partners like FIGAF and INT4, as mentioned previously on the, uh, on the previous slide. Then one question from Ebo here is on the any plan to support Eclipse versus uh, code mapping scripts, development Groovy JavaScripts. Not sure whether I understood the question correctly. So we do support JavaScripts and Groovy scripts on SAP Process Orchestration. We do not support Java mappings from SAP Process Orchestration. What we do plan, though, is to support the migration of the Java mappings of SAP Process Orchestration to JavaScripts or Groovy scripts on SAP Integration Suite. And here we even want to leverage artificial intelligence. We have POCs running, helping, generating JavaScripts and Groovy scripts based on the Java mappings from SAP Process Orchestration. I hope this answered the question. Otherwise, no, kindly uh, provide further details. Maybe here one question also, does the new migration tool take into account custom PO 7.5 ESR mapping and Java code from Jay? Thank you for the question. So similar response here. So we support the import of XLT mappings and graphical mappings from SAP Process Orchestration into SAP Integration Suite. This is supported out of the box. And we also do plan to leverage artificial intelligence to generate Groovy scripts and Java scripts out of the Java mappings directly from the ESR, from the ESR PO 7.5. I hope this answered the question. And maybe one more question here from Jan. Um, Yes, Jan, again. Okay, no. is, it, uh, is it also possible to migrate cloud integration PI edition from Neo to Cloud Foundry, uh, cloud Foundry environment? Yes, this is also supported out of, out of the box. So you can support or we support the migration uh, from CPI on the Neo environment, the CPI PI edition to SAP Integration Suite. Okay, I think uh, this is it for now. Thank you for, again for listening and all your questions and hope to see you soon. Keep on enjoying TechEd and hope to see you soon in one of the other integration sessions. Thank you and bye-bye.